is going to sound quite ridiculous, but I've never had a bagel in my life. Yes, you hear that correct. I have never eaten a bagel in my life. Don't know what it tastes like. So I thought, let me grab some bagels at the store. Let me warm it up in the oven. It took me like 20 minutes to find bagels. I went to like two different stores and I'm like, God damn, they've got no bagels? Like, for real? I don't know if bagel is a bread or... Is it a bread? Okay, that sounds... Yeah, okay, really intelligent of me, right? I think it's a bread, right? Yeah, I think it is. This is a beauty. This one, look, here's the thing, right? When you make food like a hamburger, like make it sloppy, the most hideous one is obviously gonna taste the best, at least I assume. We got some of this junk. I call it junk because it's essentially not that incredible. It is nice to have once in a while. But I do know, however, in like New York, bagels are a massive, massive thing. The Aki way, you know? Don't mind this thing on my face. I woke up this morning, uh, could it be herpes? But shit, bro, it could be anything. <laughs> I hope it ain't. I mean, I haven't done nothing with anyone in quite a while. So yeah, thought I'd mention it. We got a salted caramel from the store. I was like, you know what, man? I don't have any desserts. Let's try it out. Never had this one. We might try it out. It depends. But this is honestly what I'm most excited about. Now, I searched up like what's the most normal thing to have on a bagel. Cream cheese, some cheese. You can have optional lettuce and stuff like that. But you know what? I was going to put an egg on it. But then I thought, it's probably not going to taste that nice. But I don't know, like I said. So we'll try it out. Mm. These are nice though. I'm not lying. Mm. It's got spinach. God, it's nasty. But it's nice. All right. Here we go, man. <laughs> Damn, I put a shitload on this bagel. Well, there we go. First time ever in my life eating a bagel. I do not know what to expect. This is That's actually quite nice. Like I said, I didn't know what to expect, right? It's like, um, it's just a hard bun. That's all it really is, is it? It's very special though. It's a really nice flavor. Mmm. What a weird flavor. I like the video. Oh yeah. Hmm. Really good. The onion makes it so nice. The cream cheese. I get why people put cream cheese on it. That was one of the biggest things. How to make a good bagel. Cream cheese. Apparently that's like the best thing and only thing you need on a bagel sometimes. Oh shit. I think if I would have put an egg on it, I would have probably completely destroyed the taste. But yet again, maybe not. Hmm. Okay. Wow. I may have put too much chicken on it. But okay, whatever. I just came back from my gym workout. It's 7 o'clock at night right now. All the boys are partying, drinking, having a smoke, and you know, here I am on a Friday afternoon doing nothing. Just came back from the gym. It's been a shit day, bro. Like, it's been raining the entire goddamn day. It's now stopped raining, but it will rain later, you know? Hmm. Okay. My honest opinion, I put way too much meat on it, but I can see, however, Pickles. God damn, like, could you imagine like honey pickles on here? Mmm. That's really good. Wow. Now this I don't know. I grabbed it, but I look at the back. It's got only six grams of sugar in this entire container, which means it contains sweetness. Not the end of the world. I mean, 25 grams of protein. Damn, that's nice. But I'll probably only eat this when I'm in mood for like a dessert. 
I don't eat, I've never had this as well, so we might test it just now. The cheesecake looks like Tom took a crap on a on a on a piece of jar and said it is a cheesecake. It's a salted caramel one, but we'll see if it's good. But this is good, man. The cheese is nice. I think what would probably make this better is I'm gonna Americanize it, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Uh, American cheese. I think that would taste better. This is a oh. My girl just texted me. Give me one sec. I'm back. So sorry for that. Uh, it happens, right? <laughs> it happens. It's a very Dutch way of a bagel, right? Like the cheese. When you ask a Dutch person, what are you going to eat for lunch? We Dutch people are very easy, man. Give us a slice of cheese, a little bit of milk. We're good for the day. Like, I'm not fucking around, bro. Um, like my teachers back in, in, in like school, right? They would often like, this is such a Dutch thing, right? I'm not lying. It's a real thing. If you were, if you came as a tourist to the Netherlands for just a month, you would see all the Dutch typical things, right? The cheese, motherfuckers love cheese. Cheese is a goddamn, it's gorgeous, right? Cheese is, cheese is cheese. But specific cheese. Not at all cheese, I'm talking about Gouda. Jong Belegekaas. Beautiful. Honestly, we Dutch people make the best cheese in the world. With the French. Although saying that, I don't eat French cheese, so. But I've heard that the French are like the top, right? That's a big bagel as well. Hmm. I got special notifications on for. Yeah. Mm hmm. We still going strong, man. We had a bit of an argument. You know, we had a bit of an argument last week, but. Um, we spoke it out. It happens, right? In any relationship or friendship, you're gonna bound to have an argument eventually or once in a while. And we had our first disagreement. What it was, I'm gonna keep it like that. I just wanna say, you know, we've, we, we've, we've got our things as well. That, you know, last week, for instance, she didn't wanna speak, she didn't speak to me for two days. And, you know, I was like, oh, that's very unusual. I'm like, okay, she's ghosting me. Uh, she's leaving me on the lift for a day. So then I already knew when I woke up, like the Friday morning, I was like, hmm, odd. My message stayed delivered the entire day. But then I also thought, you know what? She did just came back from Chicago visiting her brother with her mom and dad. Her brother is, an, is, is in the Navy. It's an actual thing. She showed me. Pretty dope. And I told her, like, my father, my father used to be in the army as well. But back in the days, you were required. You had no choice. Nowadays, that's also not true though, because I know in some countries, right? And let me tell you why. My dad had a friend, a, um, a Turkish friend. I used to work at, as a car mechanic, right? I'm not gonna say where, for legal reasons, I've seen the. Mm. He doesn't work at that place anymore. It's just like for legal reasons, I don't wanna mention the business name. I don't wanna throw shade, but. Um, he used to be a Turkish, just like my mom and dad, an immigrant, right? My father told me that he actually had to pay the Turkish government a few thousand euro so that he would not have to be required to go into the army. Because you can get caught up, this was like six years ago or something. I don't know if it's still the same or changed, but like back then in Turkey, at any age you were required to go to the army when you, when you got caught up to defend your country. In the Netherlands, it's a... Man, fuck the Netherlands. I would never defend this country. Hell no. Keep it in the buck, bro. You can pay me a million dollars. I ain't doing shit for this country. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a chicken it out. I'm sorry, bro. Ain't no way I'm holding the gun and, and and hurting people, bro. It's just not in me, man. Okay, that's kind of a lie. Maybe. What? Nothing. Uh, that's weird. Okay, sorry. It makes me look like a. I mean, I'm a bit cuckoo, but he told me that he had to pay a lot of money for to the Turkish government to get excluded from the call up for the army. Yet again, I don't know if that's now a thing, but back then it was. What was I speaking about? God damn it! Yeah, about the Dutch food, right? We Dutch people like our cheese. It's, I don't know, bro. It's just, it's just a, it's a cultural thing. We don't, as Dutch people, we don't have that much food that you can say, "Wow, that really sends out to outsiders." It's pretty much just fucking cheese, bro. Yeah, cheese and. Um, Letters, if you know what I mean. Dude, we've got the best salsa in the world, man. And it ain't me hating on others, but you think your stuff is good? Please, you haven't tried ours, bro. Yours is is weak. It's weak. We 
Like certain strains here, dude. Whoa, insane. Uh, the Mike Tyson shop opened uh, not too long ago in Amsterdam. I was there, busy. I don't smoke no more, right? It doesn't. It doesn't interest me no more. I. I I mean, yeah, I have a cigar once in a while. I don't smoke cigarettes. Uh, I stopped vaping. The last time I vaped was whew, a month or two ago. But, you know, my dad and I have a cigar a few times a week, maybe. But even then, I have to stop smoking it because it's bad for your teeth and mouth, right? I know if I go to the dentist soon, they'll go moan and say, your teeth. I'm smoking, my bad. But, hey, that's what you got insurance for. If I want my teeth taken out and get new teeth, all right, my insurance is there. That's not the point, right? Don't smoke. It's not cool. I used to have kids in uh, high school. I was 13 at the time, right? Or was I 14? Maybe I was 15. We had this kid, his name was Tice. Strange kid, but then, you know, then yet again, I was strange as well, right? I saw him one time, like, I was really an anti smoker at the time because I'd lost my granddaddy, right? And just the smell of, of, of like tobacco, ugh, horrible to me. I mean, look, don't get it wrong. Even now, like cigarettes, I don't like the smell of them. I just really do not. I think he was 13 or 14 at the time and he smoked one. Like he was actually smoking them. I'm like, what? God damn. We had kids on the age of 13, 14 smoking cigarettes outside of school. You know what the worst thing was? You actually had, like, there was this one teacher. Like, some of the teachers, not a lot of teachers smoked, but we had one teacher, right? She was super, super sweet, super kind. But she would also sometimes, sometimes she would always fucking provide kids cigarettes. 15, 14, 13, I'm like, hey, man, I hope you don't get snitched on because you're committing a, 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 you're committing a crime. You know, they, they're just talking to you in a nice way because they know you can give them cigarettes. That's the only way these people, that's the only reason why they're speaking to you. They're not speaking to you because they like you as a teacher. They're speaking to you because you can provide them cigarettes. I never snitched because it was like, you know what? It ain't none of my business, man. Let these people do what they got to do. Damn, bro. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm kind of full. That one bagel filled me up. Rich in protein. Peach pression fruit. Oh, I thought it said plant based. So I was just about to say, I hope I didn't get the wrong thing. Yeah, I mean, it's alright, I guess. There's no gelatin in it. Which, I mean, doesn't bother me. I don't really care. I mean, I eat meat, so... Who cares? They also got vegan ones of these. But the thing is with the vegan ones... Super low in protein. Like super, super low. And then they're like high in calorie. I mean, this is... Under 100... This is... Dude, this is a... 138 calories for a thing like this. And if you eat the entire thing... 135, uh, uh, 25 grams of protein. Not bad, I would say. You know what? What are we gonna do? I'm gonna try this cheesecake. Honestly, I'm not, dude. I'm what a what an excuse. Right? Oh, I'm 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 I'm, I'm full. Uh, but then I'll eat a goddamn dessert. Right. I know. Damn. God damn. I'm gonna, dude. I might wanna actually have this for breakfast. I'm not throwing it away. Trust me. Uh huh. Um, by the way, she is coming over in January. We spoke about it like two days ago. She said, when do you think I should buy the tickets? So I'm like, it was three in the morning for me. I'm like, God damn, bro. I got my time. I was like, she's nine hours. It's now 7.15, so it's like 12 o'clock, 12.15 for now. I guess the only downside, bro, the, the time zones are a pain in the ass. Mm, I hate it, man. But um, she, she asked me, like, when do you think I should buy the tickets? Uh, so I replied to her, like, three in the morning, my time. Uh, maybe, like, a week or two? Because it's the 20th today. November, December, January. Bro, it's, like, less than three months. Anywhere from, like, 80 to 85 days when she's here. Because the reason why I say, like, look, look for, like, two, three weeks' time is because we're not in a rush. Hmm. It's like a Biscoff. Damn. By the way, I'm thinking of going on a bulk. Mm. I go to 90 kilogram and then dry dry train until 85. So I can transform all that weight, fat, in like muscle. 
Oh, she. Mm. Jesus, all the sugar. I don't eat sugar products that much anymore, but not at all. Not at all, man. God, that's way too sugary, man. It's good, but it's just too much. It's not really a cheesecake, though. Mm. I mean, the caramel takes over the entire flavor of the cheesecake. That's a bit disappointing though. But for the rest, it's quite nice. I always like to save these, you know what? I don't give a damn about the environment. It's being realistic, right? I like to use these as, as sauce cups. Or like when you put like these wax buttons and melt it and put like a, a thing in there, like Shrek with his ear thing. You can light up a candle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I said, um, I made a video like two weeks ago on the Parker channel and um, you know, still some people, which look, I, I obviously on the center line, um, some people will think, you know, a long distance doesn't work. You know, it's not easy. Like, it, it really isn't because we haven't FaceTimed in like two weeks. And the reason why is because she's, she's like a separate, she goes to university, right? And then she has tests and then she's got work as well and you know but she said that she'll try and see if she can call tomorrow or like sunday i really want to call like you know i always make time for her she does for me as well but i just sometimes feel like like i understand right it must be very stressful for her having to combine all these things together and then have me like <laughs> harass her sort of as a boyfriend it's like nah like i don't i don't harass her like we have our moments as well that she sends me a text message and then I just don't reply to because it's like, what the fuck am I supposed to say? Like sometimes I just don't know how to respond because of, you know, sometimes I don't know how to respond, but it's also kind of like sometimes I don't want to respond. It's not that I, no, 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 it's not that I don't like speaking to you. It's just, you don't always have to talk. You know what I mean? Like we don't, the past two days, we, don't, we haven't really been snapping much because she's been texting me on my phone more, which is a good thing. Like I said, last week when we had our disagreement about, you know, a thing or two. Uh, she was, like I said, ghosting me. And I thought it was so weird because I was like, damn, man. We've been speaking for three months. We, we, we are, th you know, we, th we are a thing. And communication is so important. And I, and, I, and I told her like three, four times in the beginning already. Like, sometimes I feel like your communication, it, it just lacks a little bit of openness. I'm not saying I don't trust her. I trust her very much. And she knows she can trust me, obviously, as well. But it's more kind of like communication sometimes from her end is, um, how do I say it? I've, I've told her like a few times. Um, sometimes she just responds short answers. But like now, for instance, as well, right? I, I messaged her and uh, I said, uh, you know, by the way, I checked up the prices for the tickets, like for her to come over here. I think it's best if me and my mom do a better research on purchasing them. She knows it's like, she knows it like nobody else. And she said, okay, just let me know. That's, that's a good answer. Some people communicate worse. You know, some people say, okay, like I, I God damn it, I hate when somebody says, you know, when you write, write, write like a long ass paragraph, I, you know, it took you like a meter or something, like fast as typing, thinking, ah. Oh, and then they respond, and then they respond back with, okay, hmm, bro, that legit kind of pisses me off, but she doesn't do that, luckily, I think she did that once or twice in the beginning, and I said, what's that supposed to mean, but I ain't tripping about it, man, we'll see, um, yeah, I'm excited, obviously, yeah, and like I said about the FaceTime part, you know, we try to FaceTime every week, but obviously from her end, I can understand that she's busy, and... You know, I can understand that she's got other things in her mind as well. But I love FaceTiming with her. I do, obviously. She's the only one I FaceTime with. Except for another guy. His name is Dante. The guy is chill as fuck, man. I think I mentioned it in the last video. But he's from Texas. I've been speaking to him for, yeah, like three years or something. But I only messaged him like... Yeah, because we messaged... Like, me and him, like, he's my bro. But, you know, we obviously don't speak every day because he's really busy he's got three full-time jobs he's a um he's a website developer a marketing uh, agency as well 
and something on the side. So he, he works like 60 hours a week, bro. It is fucking insane how much he works. He works like 50, 60 hours a week. Three different jobs, right? Full time. But like me and him once in a few days on like WhatsApp, we speak and say, yo, bro, you want a f video call or something? Like, you know, I ain't got nothing to do right now. My girl's busy with school. And he says, yeah, cool, man. I might actually hit him up later if he's available. Like I said, uh, he lives in Houston, Texas. And, I, and I, like, we were speaking for three years, but we mostly speak on Snapchat, right? Me and him, because it's just way easier. Um, and I said, yo, bro, wouldn't it be like dope if you and me eventually like link up? He said, bro, that'd be fucking awesome. Oh my God. I said, like, bro, that'd be awesome, bro. Like for real, that'd be so dope. When I, I don't know, like I said, he's really busy. It would make more sense if I would come to him when um, he's not like working, like when he's free. Because if he can take, like, let's say, like next year, like March, April, he, he's like free for a week or two, then I'm like, all right, bro, let me check what I can schedule, and then bam, I can fly fly to Houston. I've never been to Houston, Texas, but um, yeah, I'd love to, bro. Like shoot guns and stuff like that. Could you imagine the content I'm able to make if I'm in Houston, like fucking machine gun, bro? <laughs> It'd be so dope, but that's just me. Then again. And also another few things I wanted to speak about before we end this video. Um, you may have seen obviously the past two, two and a half weeks, what has been happening in the Middle East. The one part of the world says it's Israel, the other part says it's Palestine. Honestly, if I'm going to be very honest, bro, I, I, I don't know what is what, man. I don't keep myself busy with politics, but I have been keeping up with what's happening there, obviously. Um, yeah, not a lot of people speaking about it, content creator wise, right? Um, I see everyone posting on it on Instagram. Why I haven't posted anything about it on Instagram is because, believe it or not, people have been getting banned left and right speaking up about the situation happening. Yes. Like last week, I was on Instagram. I posted a picture of me on Comic-Con. Uh, some guy posted something about the Palestine-Israel uh, situation. I looked on my story and I was like, huh? Seven people viewed my story in an hour? That is weird. Then I immediately thought, wait up, hold on. I mean, have I been shadow banned because someone mentioned it about P Palestine and Israel? And I was like, yeah. Then I saw other people say the same thing. I'm not saying who's right or wrong. Honestly, I've got to be honest, man. I don't know anything about the history about Palestine and Israel. You know, the one part of the world says, oh, Israel has been pressuring Palestina, but then the other part says, oh no, Palestina has been doing the opposite and doing it to Israel. Very confusing to me, man. I should maybe do my research more on those type of things, but then it's also like, if I'm going to be very honest, it doesn't interest me, politics. I hate politics, man. But besides that, I find it very disappointing to see two countries going at each other. For what real reason? I don't know, like I said. I haven't done my research on it. I haven't, so I, I I don't agree with, no, of course I don't agree, man. You know how many people have lost their life and has, have been injured? It's it's bizarre, man. Like, what are people really hurting each other for at the end of the day is the real question, right? And unfortunately, often the answer is quite obvious. It's religion, or it's land, or it's some form of pressure of whatever, whatsoever. It's crazy, and... Yeah, it's a genocide. What's going? What's going on right now? If anyone says, "Oh, you know," it's, uh, no, bro. This is exactly what Adolf did in the Second World War. Took millions of people's lives away. I don't know how many lives have been taken already with this war happening in the Middle Eastern, but I've read it is a lot. Grown-ups, pregnant people, handicaps, children, infants, bro. I have seen the pictures. Someone who's got a sister? Oh. I have no words. Like, you think, your you think your life is bad or your day's been going bad, bro? At least you're not getting shot for no reason. Or your family getting kidnapped. But then, bro, you have a good life if you've got a house and you've got a job. You're not struggling like, like these people are. You ain't. These people, their lives are getting taken away for no actual reason. You should be happy to be alive and not be in this conflict that these people are in. Because at the end of the day, a lot of innocent get involved. And that's what's the worst. Let the people that want to kill each other, kill each other. Aye, cool, whatever. Criminals, criminals. Let them kill each other. But as soon as innocent get involved, 
that's when I'm like, nah, uh-uh. But yeah, let me know what you find of the situation. I'm thinking of maybe making a video on it, but then I would have to do my history. I would have to do my research and history on these two countries. The one says it's Israel, the other says it's Palestine, and the other says, oh, it's both. I don't know. But maybe I'll make a video on it, uh, but also maybe not. I'll see if it's not too risky, because I don't want to get banned or shadow banned, bro, on any platform. I don't. I want to speak up about it, but I'm, I'm just so scared that if I do, I get banned. You know? But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this, man. First time trying a bagel. Yeah, pretty good, actually, I must say. Um, yeah, see you next time, man. I have a ASMR coming up Sunday, and then, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys with a new video Wednesday, hopefully. The uh, reason why I didn't upload like Wednesday was because I had a guy out of nowhere arranged by my father to do my bedroom and my bathroom renovation. So I was like, oh, crap. Also, I had no time these past two days because I had to do some stuff, take care of the dogs and this and that. So yeah, I thought I'd just let you know. But yeah, man, hope you enjoy them, man. Have a, uh, yeah, have a nice Friday afternoon, honestly. I'm going to just kick it back, watch some Dr. Insanity when racist cops realize they've been arrested. AKA lose the job. I might watch some hollow gameplay. That new Spider-Man 2 looks sick with Miles Morales and Peter Parker. I'm, I, I, I might watch it just now. Or continue at least. But yeah, hope you guys have a nice Friday afternoon. And uh, I don't want this. See you later, man. Peace out.